Yo, welcome back everyone. This is Stu42 with another Minecraft video. We are going to continue on with our EU uh, journey here with Greg Tech today. Last episode, we finally managed to get ourselves a basic steam turbine. Not incredibly useful on its own, but it is got has got steam going into it, uh, and it should be producing EU now. Uh, everything's sort of turned off at the moment, a bit of time's gone by, but as you can see, the steam isn't going down in here, and the steam's not going down there. So I'm guessing this is actually pretty intelligent and is not actually producing power while there's, there's nothing to use the power, essentially. So, so what we'll do today is we'll build a machine that actually uses some of this power. And I've had a bit of a think about what we can do. And I think one of the first machines I actually want to build is a wire mill. Um, I originally was going to go for the um, fluid extractor and the fluid canning machine. Uh, they were going to need to get batteries and things uh, later on. Uh, but to begin with, I think I'm going to stick with the steam setup. And one of the reasons I chose the wire mill is because you get insane bonuses to making wire. So to make a wire at the moment, we're using these cutters, which uses up our cutters, and it uses a single plate, which makes is, is two ingots. So two ingots makes one wire. If we go through to the wire mill, one ingot, makes two wires, so it's like four times better. Uh, given that so many of them, these machines need you know, electric motors and stuff, which is basically made up of a bunch of wires, uh, I figured it was probably one of the best things to do to, to start with to save ourselves some material. So I'm gonna be a bit busy uh, off camera making a bunch of these components. Uh, again, you guys know how to make all of this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be making these tin wires the old way with the uh, you know, with the uh, the plate and the snips. Uh, also, remember to make sure you get your plate and snips around the right way to get the Greg Tech wire, not the Industrial Craft wire. Uh, and then the other thing that you need to probably know is the magnetic iron rod that tripped me up last time. Uh, rather than needing magnetic iron, you just have to go with some redstone. So a normal iron rod with some redstone. So uh, we'll make this uh, we'll make this wire mill first and see where we go from there. See if we can get some wires happening. So I'll see you in a moment uh, once I've made a bunch of these prerequisite components. See you in a bit. Okay, we are back and we have made a bunch of things that we need for this. I've actually done quite a bit off camera again. I found out I ran out of copper this time. So I've been running around trying to make sure that I get enough copper. Thankfully, there's a nice big uh, vein of it underneath my base. So just putting the final touches on this and we have our first basic wire mill. Now I've also made this copper cable. Uh, I know I could use the tin cable, but this one's 128 max voltage. Um, I'm not sure what the loss per meter does. I did a, some testing in a creative world very, very quickly. Didn't do anything too crazy with it. Um, yeah, so that's connected, that's cool. And then, wire mill and we should be good to go okay so this is yep got plenty of heat still so let's just throw a copper ingot in there look at that we've got some EU happening that would only be working if we had a U and look at that two wire from a single ingot that's fantastic okay so this looks like a pretty good setup I think what I'm gonna do from here is we'll um, we'll use the wire we just made make it nice and insulated and put another couple of wires along there cool and so now what I'm thinking is I can line some machines up along here if I need more of these uh, of these generators I can actually just stack them along the wall there now I think this is using the way uh, one of the previous mods worked which is it's not 32 EU per tick as such it's more like 32 EU packets per tick so what that means is if I start stacking multiple ones of these steam turbines along here, the most that'll be on this cable is still only 32, even though there's lots of 32s. What'll happen is there'll just be multiple packets per tick. And that's a bit of a thing to get your head around, but what that essentially means is we can make uh, four of these steam turbines along here and run four machines that are 32 EU per tick and we won't blow any cables in between by going over 32. It, it won't add up to 128, um, as far as I'm aware. I'm Again, we'll test that as we go, um, but we'll see 
we'll see how we go there. Uh, there's one of the other guys just wanting to, to sleep. We haven't got the mod on the server that it's only one person sleep. Uh, so anyway, that's it for me for this time. We have our EU machine. Next time we'll make some more EU machines and just see how far we can push this EU system um, so that we can actually get something useful out of it. Maybe even start decommissioning some of these steam machines and going straight to, to EU power. So as always, thank you very much for watching and we will see you next time.